grab some Sharpies, and let's get to the easiest marble you have ever done, and we will do it all with our DIY supplies. You wanna have some old nail polish bottles. I got mine in a big pack off Amazon, and then you can take any type of Sharpies, cheap Sharpies, I got these from Walmart, and you'll take tweezers, like or the nail cuticle nippers, and yank out the top. Once you yank out the top of the marker, all you have to do is stick it into the little nail polish bottle and then pull out the middle part that has the rest of the ink in it and squeeze it into the bottle. Now, <laughs> I goofily started just trying to squeeze it in and I forgot to put gloves on, so I quick grabbed a Ziploc bag, which like you can see was making a mess and getting stuck everywhere. And then I realized, oh my gosh, they had a little funnel. Like why didn't I use that from the start? And the next thing you use is you just put some isopropyl alcohol in. You wanna shake that up really, really well, and then you can try it out and see what your marble color is going to look like. I tried my color out with a white gel polish that I did two coats of, then applied gel base and matte gel top coat. White matte color allows for the best marble to show up as you possibly can get it to. It really pops. So then you can just take the little bottle of your homemade alcohol ink and start dabbing it onto your little your nail or your um, swatch, whatever you decided to try it on. I just used this swatch because it was easy, and I took a little liner brush and went in. You want to dip your liner brush in some kind of pure acetone because that really seems to make the best marble effect. I tried using ice purple alcohol and I just wasn't giving enough marble effect, but when I used the acetone, oh my gosh, look at that awesome marble effect it gave. And that was how I got that gorgeous, gorgeous effect. Now I know if you try it with different size brushes, it's definitely gonna give you a different effect. If you have your desired marble effect, you wanna let that alcohol ink totally dry before applying anything over top of it. And I used gel base and floated over really gently even when I knew it was totally dry. Fully cure the gel base, then apply gel top, fully cure that, and you'll have your gorgeous marble effect. Check out this next tutorial where I do some more nail art. Thanks for joining me today, nail crew. Oh.